JU87B2 version, the uh, little. Um, I glued this up today and primed it. Uh, but before I glued it up, I noticed I left one piece of the mould line on, and that was giving me that uh, fag, uh, cigarette paper thickness gap on one side. When I took that off, uh, sat, when I sanded it down, I popped the wings back on, and they fit perfectly. There's no joint line in there at all, so nice and neat. I then primed the whole thing, let it dry. I had to go out for a few hours. Absolute rubbish. Use it was a useless effort having to go out on there, but somebody else wanted me to do it, so I did it. Um, when I came back in, I was doing the blue on here, and I'd done some black when well, that was dry. I'd done the black uh, bomb rack here that floats a bomb away from the propeller, and. Uh, I also masked this up when the blue was dry and done the yellow on the hit on the wing tips. When it came to the top splinter camel, I got the Vallejo out. That's RML 71 and 70. There's hardly a difference between the two. Um, on the 48 scale, you would notice a difference. On this cell, you won't. So I had a look around, I got life colour ones. So I used ML70 again of the life colour this time on this side. And this side I done, um, is it this one? Hang on a minute, I've got them out of my way. So I can't hardly tell. The shades are so. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, sorry, I did have it around the right way. Yeah, there's ML70 on here and ML80 on this side. And you can see the difference quite a bit now. But still, too close for this. So what I decided to do was plain green on top. Bit boring, I thought. So I stuck a yellow cowling on, the, on here and painted that up. Uh, so that'll bring it a bit more to life and I think it look, it look quite nice with a plain colour now. I've also got to finish the propeller off. I've done the blades, I just need to do the spinner. I might do that a contrasting colour, a red maybe, or a, maybe black around the centre section where the props are. I just have a red tip on it. Uh, I'll, I'll look at that tomorrow. Let me put that away in there. And uh, again tomorrow I'll come back, I'll mask this up and spray this with the green. I have, however, put a piece of masking tape over the cockpit, where the cockpit canopy goes. I didn't want too much paint build up, so I put that on there to keep the paint build up down. So I'll pull that off and I've got hardly any paint around the edge of it. And I can get that masked up tomorrow and hopefully we can get this... Ooh, done and dusted. The wheels have been primed, all oh, the bombs have been finished as well, I've done that, that's ready to go. Put that in there. Two wheel spats have been primed, ready for the top coat. I'll do those when I do the top of this here. And then the last thing to do is mask up the canopy. As I was out for half the day at least, I didn't, didn't do the canopy. I was too tired by the time I come home. So I'll do that tomorrow when I'm nice and fresh. Uh, Stuka, uh, little one, that's done. Okay, I've now put the coloured um, knobs and lights on. Uh, I've, done, I've whitened the, the radio, I think this is. Uh, so I've done that. It's now ready for uh, one thing that I like to do is an ink wash. Um, and I like to spray it. I did start doing this with the um, with the paintbrush in, but I found sometimes it was just too hard for it. I'll go in afterwards, and if I think it's a bit light in the places, I will touch and let it run with a brush, a very small brush, something like a five uh, O brush or something like that, just a just a tiny bit right in the corner, and it'll run across the 
joint nicely. So we'll put the ink in here. Oh, it's been a while since I've had this opened. Uh, again, it's just ink. Uh, I use uh, computer ink and I thin it down. And it literally is thinned down a great deal. I mean, if we talk about this jar, this field here, with 20, X20, and then I put about five or six drops of ink, that's all, into it here. And it's a very thin, watery mixture. Well, let me just check this out here. Start let it come through here, come on. I think you just see it change colour here. There we go. That's coming through. And literally, I'll just spray it on in a good coat all the way across all the all the stuff that's seen, I'll give that a good coating there, like that. Now, the thing about this, when I leave it to dry, let's give it a bit more, sorry, it's a little bit weak there, so we'll put some more on there. Right, to let this dry, stand it upright like that. Don't leave it lying like this, just stand it upright, because the ink will flow down and along the bars. Excuse me, I've just got... Uh, Answer the door, and again, we'll start. Excuse me, a second. Ooh, that's a... We'll do the other side, again, the same way. If we get the ink out, oh, hang on. <laughs> Need a bit more ink in here. It's very thin, it's like owl clads. A lot of it, a lot of it goes a little way. <laughs> There's an awful lot of ink for the, the amount you do. That's it, that's better. I don't pull, pull back on my brush. You, you'll get to know how much you want to use on it. Let's throw that down there, we are. And basically, we can see that there. We'll leave that up there to dry. And again, for the floor, so I get it all over my hands. All around there, thank you. All around there, do it upside down, get it in there. But again, you want to leave this to dry as it stands normally, which is like this here. And we'll leave that in there to dry. And we'll just do the cockpit dash uh, instrument panel. Just give that a coating over. Just a light dusting, that's all we do. For that, and as you can see here, there's not much left in that cup at all. Okay, 148 Skaduka. Um, got on with it quite well today. I finished painting the figures tonight and glued them in. I glued the cockpit floor in by putting the two halves together and making sure it was in the correct position. Dropping a bit of glue in there, that's held it, taking it apart, uh, finished gluing it up, putting the bulkheads in, doing the same way there. Also the radiator piece here I've done. Um, it's come up very nice, all the control uh, knobs I put on there, the colour knobs in the correct places, or what I think are correct places. I have to put uh, some glazing in here. Uh, one in the back end here. I don't think I can get into it. No, I won't. I'll have to put that in. Uh, so I'll do that next. I'll put some. I'll put the glazing in there. And there's a piece of glazing goes in the front here, but I can get into there because the cowling won't have been on it. Uh, that'll probably stay off for a while. Um. What else is there? There's something else I thought I've got to do on this. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. Um, 
let me put it like this. Let me hold it like this for you. Can you see that uh, instrument panel? If you can, great. I'll check the video in a minute before buttoning this up to make sure you, you've got that shot. If you don't, I'll put a, I'll, I'll do a camera shot of it and uh, put that up over the top of this. So that's the inside parts of the Ju87B. Uh, also today, I put all the half parts together. I've done all the bombs. Don't know why, because I don't actually. I'm not actually using these bombs here, but I have a diorama that I need some bombs on. So I'll, I'll clean those up, paint them up, and uh, they can go on that diorama or in the box with the parts for the diorama because I haven't, I haven't done that yet. I had to restart it over from scratch. That's another radiator part. The wheels again. I put them together. I made sure I put the right parts to the right ones, and all the treads line up perfectly. I was amazed. Uh, done the two tanks. This one's still going to have a bit of sanding done on it. On the on the on the um, joint. Still got to do that there. Uh, the wheel spats. I put a coat of prime on it. And then I popped in here. I was going to put some mud on there. I thought I'll pop the wheel in there. See how how much I can actually see. How much I have to do. And uh, I can't see nothing inside. I will just do the bottom half of this uh, wheel spat inside with an internal colour. And that's all I need to do with that. And I can get that buttoned up. The other tank here, which I've got to one side, I've actually already sanded off the joint and I'm ready for just taking the panel lines from one side to the other. They all, they all line up nicely. I just need to run the... Um, panel line scriber just past it just to get rid of the ridge in the uh, recess of the panel line oh tail planes glued those together i also cut down the horseshoe the piece that sticks out from where it shouldn't be because it's the wrong way round i cut it down so that i've got the the little notch in here is still there I left that there, so I can glue that in there. I now know that that is level when the struts are on the body. I have to put some filler in around here, give it a bit of a sand in, and uh, reshape the the flare the flaring the fairing on the end of the struts here, because that's misshaped on both of them. That's bad. They, those are the really bad parts in this kit. So two. And uh, the wings, I've got those glued up now. Again, no filler whatsoever. It's a bit clear, I think you've got to go with that. The other wig, again. Nice, no filler again in that. And the fuselage goes together, that won't need any filler either. And if I put the wings on here, nice and flat. They will go nice and flat. I've got the right angle on here, and the wheel spat fairings on the wings are flat to the fuselage as well. So, hopefully, as long as these are flat as well, when I put the wheels on, I'll have a 90 degree axis for the wheels to stick down off of this joint here. Uh, right, that's the that's the 87B version. I'll put that to one side here. Um, also today, this morning, I had to post them around. He bought me AirTech spares for me airbrush, and I had a bit of a surprise when I took the old um, needle seals out in the back here. There were three of them. I didn't realise that. There are three. Um, I was told there was only one in it. That's why I bought the triple pack to make it better. Um, but when I compared the old seals to the new seals, each old seal is only half the size of the new triple seals. So uh, they should last a lot longer now. Uh, but I will button that up tonight and it should be nice and dry for the morning. 
and I could start getting the wings and all the other bits and pieces on it ready for top coat painting. So until then I'll see you later, bye for now.